Today we're on a fossil adventure and it starts around 150 years ago when this opening that you see behind me was dug by a bunch of miners. They were mining for coal and this was a slope mine that went steadily downhill into the bottom side of this mountain. As they got deeper, they started to find more and more coal and inside of that coal were tons and tons of fossils. Today we're gonna to be joined by Wild Kyle who's gonna help us identify some of the fossils that we find and hopefully we're gonna find some amazing stuff right here in Alabama. So here is a closer look at the entrance of the mine. If you take a look, this is like a shell wall that's around it and you can see the layers, one layer after another just stacked on top of each other. So you can imagine more than likely the layers as they get higher are a little bit newer because it's a type of sediment that's settled. If you look down though into the entrance of this mine, you can see that it has been blocked off and that was done on purpose to keep people safe from going way down in there guys. But all the fossils we're gonna be finding today is gonna to be coming out of this shale and most of them were pulled from the bottom of this coal mine. So as we're making our way back down to the creek where the coal miners dumped the excess material where the fossils are gonna be, I wanted you guys to take a look at this mountainside it's absolutely gorgeous. We are in a beautiful part of Alabama right now. So without any further ado, we're gonna make our way right down here to the water's edge where my wife has already started cracking some rocks open, guys. Now that we're down in the water ourselves, if you take a look, there is a bridge built right here. This was for access to the mines. If you notice, the water is nice and smooth. And then all of a sudden, there are a ton of rocks right here on this patch. And then it goes back smooth. The reason for that is the majority of what you see right here are the tailings that I was telling you about. And most of these rocks are gonna house fossils. We're gonna be looking for the flat ones though that look like that shale or that layered material that was on the bank. Then we're gonna split them open. Miranda's just getting started over here. She absolutely loves this, but usually I've got to pull the rocks for her. So let me go pull her some rocks and let's see what we can find. So if you take a look right here, guys, you may be wondering how they removed the material back then. That hole that you see in the rock is a drill core hole, and that is just the size of a stick of dynamite. They would have slid a stick of dynamite or two in there, blasted, and then removed the material. So we do have our first few fossils right here. You can see that is a beautiful imprint of a fern. That is really cool. And we got a couple over here. This looks like it could be, that's the original tree bark that you see right there that's black. You can see the striations or like the elongated lines right there. Super cool. You guys keep in mind, we are not fossil experts, but Wild Kyle will be joining us here in just a few minutes. Hopefully he'll know what some of this stuff is. Look at this one. This one has more of like a, a horizontal line running across it so that's three different types of fossils right off the top of the ground guys i just heard the universal wild kyle call he's on the hill above us <laughs> meanwhile we're waiting on him to come down take a look at this guys that one is loaded with plant matter looks like i see fern pieces different shaped leaves this stuff was trapped in mud i'd love to hear from you guys a lot of times People wonder how these ferns ended up like this and the estimated age. Some people think that it's related to the flood that was in Bible times. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think these ferns were captured in the mud and do you really think that they are millions of years old? Look at the color on that one, guys. It's really cool to see sometimes that these aren't just in set black stone. They kind of have more of like a red or a copperish color to them. It just kind of makes the fossils pop. This stuff is pretty brittle to be honest. I've been thinking about putting it into like an acrylic setting and then framing it. I think that would be really cool. Look who it is, they made it guys. We got Nat and Wild Kyle. They're gonna help us hopefully ID some of the stuff we don't know what we're doing with. Yeah, I don't know my species names, but hey. I'm getting there. I, I know this, the genus of a lot of the ferns is Sphenopterus. So that's half of it at least. Well, and if you wanna know scientific- <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you want to know scientific names and stuff, you're probably not on the right channel. So if you want to know that kind of stuff, you probably need to go watch Wild Kyle over here. That, that's the guy that's going to be a lot more technical about it. <laughs> Is it calamites? Yeah. Is that why it's segmented? They, I swear, we saw this person post it. They took it out. Wow. Like not too long ago. What you got here? Oh, this gosh, look at that. That's crazy. Look at all the segments of the calamites there. That's super cool because we can go find the calamites too. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, 
So we, I'm pretty sure we saw someone post this on yeah. online because they had a th they had the 3D of it, which would have popped out right here. And I'm pretty sure I saw somebody post that recently. So these are just the impressions here, and they had the actual 3D like fossil of it. That's cool, that's so man. cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Man, I should have brought a toothbrush out here. Look at that. You can see the segments though. You can can't see you? the segments. That's how many segments is that? One, two, three, four, five segments. And look at the other side there. Here, I'll grab that. Look at the other side right there. That's, that's cool. the negative. That's the positive there. I'll get a close up on my phone too. You'll probably see it a little bit better. As mentioned, that is ancient horsetail imprints. Really cool stuff. I don't need to find me a big rock to split open. It's so brittle though. I know, that's the stuff oh, that's that was breaking that on me. That's so nice of you. Did you fall down? <laughs> Natalie over there. I was going to tell you rocks. not to fall. <laughs> These rocks are slick this time of year, guys. Yeah, that's a whole fern Be careful for those snakes, too. Right. Yeah, that's super cool. This is one that we probably have to drop an acrylic to keep it from, like, fracturing. Right. Yeah, you want to keep it stable. It's super cool. I don't know which side looks better, though. Honestly, probably the bigger side over here. I know yeah. you got a positive because, and a negative. Yeah, that's yeah. the positive, and that's the print of it. Hmm. Got to stay positive. So got to stay positive. I mean, I, can't I can't believe he got that positive part loose of the calamite. Most of the time they break. He just got all five it's segments like out. Man. Yeah, all five segments came out. Look at it. <laughs> that's so cool. Dude, that's look. probably the coolest one I've seen. Dude, look how long that is. Look how many that is. That is epic, man. <laughs> wow. That is killer. That's insane. It, it seems like I read that those things could have been like 150 feet tall. Yep, they got big. They That's got huge. That's crazy, man. Wow. <laughs> Imagine finding one in like the cliff 150 feet long. <laughs> well, if you think about it, if that thing was standing right here in the creek bed, it would be up above the street line. This thing's gonna look even nicer once I brush it, man. Because there's, oh, yeah. there's some mud stuck in the lines there. I guess that striations is what they call those lines, isn't it? Yeah, right. something like that. Something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here with the fossil lingo, but wow, that's super cool. Isn't that crazy, that, dude? Uh, that's an amazing, I could put that in the truck now. I know, I, I was gonna say, keep it <laughs> You don't want it to break. It's, long, it's like as long as my arm. <laughs> that's crazy. So we're gonna take a quick pause from cracking rocks open and head over back to the shell wall where the mines are and do a little bit of exploring. Let's go see what we can find over there. Look at that, there's somebody weird over there. Hey look, there's Brandon. <laughs> Wait, come over a little closer. A little I closer. Phone, I can't see your face. Can't see my face. I don't wanna break your camera. There he is. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so funny. We're on like the opposite side of the mountain from each other too. Look, here's that rock face. He's over on the other side. We're about to head down into that creek bottom and see what's down there in the small creek. So up there's where we were. On the other side of that was the mine. And it looks like there may have been a second entrance right here that's been blocked off. And oftentimes this, these mines will flood. And it looks like they put these pipes in to keep it from flooding. Oh, look at that. That's kind of wild, isn't it? Yeah. You can probably stick your camera over and look right into there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, another entrance. Listen to the amount of water coming out of there. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water, man. That's neat. Super cool. Hey, that looks like a swallow nest or something out there, doesn't it? Does. Oh, it is a little bird's nest. Yeah, that's a really cool one. It's a pretty little creek. It was right there on the lip. She just picked this up, guys. It is a screw top. This is probably circa 1930s or 40s. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a date code on this one or not, but it says 42. So it could be 1942. So, you know, 80 or 90 years ago, there was definitely some kind of activity here. This being brown, it could have been iodine. This could have been used by a late miner here. Hard to say. It's gonna be hard for you guys to tell, but this dirt is all torn up real bad. This right here, all through here is like a mud flat. And probably what we're looking at right here is from wild hogs. We do have bad problems here in Alabama with wild hogs. And they are very, very disruptive to the land causing unwanted and unneeded erosion and tearing up people's fields and crops. They are a nuisance, that's for sure. So they're down there below me. I just had a gut feeling that there was something up here. If you take a look, I was right. It's another mine that I didn't know was there. It's been sealed off though. There's one to the left. Sorry, I'm out of breath. This is kind of a steep climb. <laughs> and one to the right, right here. You can tell they tried to build some kind of little retaining wall out of the rock that they were moving. But this was another mine entrance. If you look over here, you can see the coal seam a little bit if you look real hard. 
So you can't see real well, and I don't want to drop my camera, but it is definitely open back in there. Pretty wild though. You can see the coal seam right there too. So I'm gonna hike back down. This is a neat little spot though. No wonder there's so many fossils. Now that we explored my curiosity, we're gonna head back and split a few more rocks before getting out of here. You guys let me know, this isn't our typical adventure. You're doing the fossil stuff. We do have a couple of videos of Wild Kyle now doing this stuff. Do you wanna see us do more of it? If so, be sure to let us know in the comments. Oh, wow. It's, it's loaded. Fern pieces everywhere in there. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that little piece just comes loose. Oh my God, the back of it. Oh dang, hey, that's look. super, super nice. Look how thin it is though, guys. Oh, I, I know, mean, it's so brittle. It's so brittle, like you just about gotta wrap this stuff in bubble wrap. I'm scared. All right, y'all ready? Here's the reveal. Oh, okay. see if anything's in it. Oh, what is what that orange heck? stuff? It's a bunch of those weird nodules, nodule things. Just busted up. I don't know. No, ain't no fossils in there, man. Yeah, I don't see any plant fossils at all. It's what the wild. world? All right, guys, check this out. I got a weird looking rock right here. I think if we split it open, it's probably gonna have something pretty awesome inside. What do y'all think? Here we go. Just kidding. I'm not gonna mess up a perfectly good pumpkin. Somebody <laughs> lost this as a Halloween decoration floating down the creek, and uh, nothing's wrong with it. The deer will enjoy that. I might throw it up on the bank for the deer. Oh, yeah. They'll, like They'll eat it. Check this out. This is where we just split it off. Look at that fern. <laughs> Very nice imprint on that one. Super right. cool. There is another side piece to a calamite. That one's got a really nice imprint going on that Kyle just split open. All right, guys, we're back home. We had an absolute blast out searching around the old coal mines for fossils. If you enjoyed this adventure, please let us know in the comments below. Again, we don't want to do things that you guys don't want to watch. If we do, we're going to do it off camera. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure you let us know. And if you're not subscribed, do that where you don't miss next week's adventure. You never know what we're going to be doing. We'll see you guys in that video.